Adam and Jamie have already seen that NASA didn't slow down the film to fake the Apollo mission moonwalks. But to conclusively confirm that the footage was shot in one-sixth gravity, they decided they had to experience the real thing. And here at Zero G in Florida, they get to do just that. In order for us to do this accurately, we need to be properly weighted. Since zero G is providing us with the moon's gravity, one sixth Earth's gravity, I need to have the exact amount of equipment weight on me that the original Apollo astronauts had on the moon. And that's about 180 pounds of stuff. And it's uncomfortable. Adam struggling with the excess baggage. This, this is unpleasant. Jamie, on the other hand, oh yeah. <laughs> is keen to display his alpha male status. A status damaged after being forced to join Adam playing dress-ups. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. With the way incomplete, it's time for the pre-flight briefing with in-flight info from Zero G's Elizabeth Underwood. Elizabeth, now that we're just about to go on, I want to know how good a simulation of zero gravity is this? It's not a simulation at all. It is the real deal. It's the exact same technique that NASA's been using to train their astronauts for the last 50 years. And it works like this. A series of parabolic arcs will give the passengers the physical sensation of weightlessness. And just for us, the pilot will adjust the angle of the parabola, making the microgravity in the cabin an exact match to the moon's gravitational pull, which just leaves the guys to step up, strap in, take off, and suit up. I look good, right? It's good. I look damn good. So right now, I'm loaded up with an extra 180 pounds on my body. In a few minutes, we're going to actually get to try this out in moon's gravity. And I got to tell you, I can't wait. This is a heavy suit. Adam doesn't have to wait long, because the guides soon have everyone into position for the first pass. And as G-Force 1 gently arcs into its dive, oh, that feels cool. Adam and Jamie, oh, here it comes know what it feels like to walk on the moon. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> that, that's 100% wacky right there. Calibrated to match the moon's gravitational pull, the guys just get time to take it all in before the call goes out to hit the deck. Because as the plane begins to pull out of the dive, the G-forces go into the positive. There is a cost to being weightless. The other end of the roller coaster, you've got almost twice Earth's gravity. That's kind of terrifying at first, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I've never experienced anything like that. It is really disconcerting to first weigh double your weight and then one-sixth your weight. In fact, at one-sixth my weight, I felt pretty much weightless. I felt like I could jump 10 feet in the air. This is a first, even for me. Now that the guys have their bearings, the testing can begin. Ready? Adam copies the same run and skip as before. Good job. This time, leaving out the jump because of height restrictions in the cabin. The movement felt totally natural as soon as I started doing it. And all the NASA footage makes sense to me now. The skipping they did is a totally efficient way to move in that gravitational pull. I couldn't think of a better confirmation for the NASA footage than trying this myself. When Adam was walking or running, he was experiencing the exact same thing that Neil Armstrong would have on the moon. It was one six Earth's gravity. Adam did a great job with the bungee cords. It looked pretty convincing, but being here on this plane in microgravity and watching him, it's totally different. Nothing really compares to what we saw here on this plane, so as far as I'm concerned, they went to the moon. Dude, that was awesome. We have been very thorough here. Yeah, you can't get much tidier than that. I mean, not only did we start out by replicating precisely the circumstances that theorists say were used to fake the moon footage. But we also put ourselves in a calibrated moon gravity environment. The theory that it's faked, bust. Bust.